Welcome everybody, my name is Cinnamon Toast Ken. Have you ever wished you could take your cat out on a date? Of course you have, everyone has. It's, it's literally like one of the main things you do when you reach the age of 30. And now, they can make that even a easier. <laughs> I can't even talk. <laughs> Shut up, I was trying to do a bit. Anyway, we're playing the perfect date today. It's a game about dating cats. I don't know if your cat is dating cats, if your human is dating cats. I'm not really sure. Either way, it's a game about dating cats. So, let's just play the game. How to play, we don't care how to play. New game. Freaking gonna do it. I get to pick my person. They look super excited when you pick them. They're just like, wow! Y'all look really dumb. So, let's see. You know, we're actually gonna be this guy, because he's got this cool necklace on. And his name is gonna be Kitty. Booty. Kitty Booty. That's the whole- I can't- His name is gonna be Kitty Booty Getter, but now he's just Kitty Booty. <laughs> Except- I accept Kitty Booty. We're out in the ocean! Is this the shark dating sim again? I'm not sure how long we've been sailing, but it feels like forever. I'm not feeling too well now, so it's a huge relief to hear the deck lad shout. Alan, approach! Make yourself ready! Finally here. When I applied last month, I was just another broke student living off baked beans and didn't really think I had a chance of being accepted to be part of the prestigious Cat Island research team. Yet, here it is. A little black dot in the distance growing bigger by the second is the infamous Cat Island, the place I will call home for the next few months. My heart momentarily skips a beat. What if there's been a mistake? What if they accepted someone else's application and accidentally sent the, uh, the offer to me? I rummage about in my bag until I find the papers. Dear Kitty Booty, we are pleased to be able to offer you a position of new research assistant to Professor Paul Purr at our research facility on Cat Island. The position will be for an initial period of eight weeks. Your contract will be sent separately. We look forward to working with you. You're sincerely Professor Paul Purr. No, no mistake, that's my name right there in the top left hand corner. Kitty Booty. And there's his name at the bottom. The genius behind this whole operation. Professor Pauper, science genius, and my new boss. This dude must have been like a rich student living off baked beans. If he ain't on Tostino's pizzas and ramen noodles, he's living big. I look for my papers to see a dry, to see dry land rapidly approaching before us. It seems to be surrounded by a huge barrier of impenetrable black rocks. As we get closer, we're not slowing down. I begin to worry that we're going to crash into them. Then, at the very last moment, we take a sharp turn to the left, and suddenly, we're sailing smoothly towards a jetty through the opening in the rocks. I blow out a breath that I've been holding, and break into a smile. Nicely done, Skipper! The ferryman comes out behind the, steel, the steering wheel, ignoring my attempts at a com camaraderie, and shouts rather brusquely. Take all your belongings! We don't come back for a few days, so don't leave nothing you'll need! Thank you! I smile weakly at the ferryman as the sun picks up my bags, ready to disembark. We glide seamlessly up the wooden jetty, and the sun leaps ashore to tie us off. He's greeted by a bulky man in uniform, who I take to be a security officer of some kind. Joe. Sir, you called a mouse! And then he laughs loudly as he said the funniest thing he's ever heard, and it's very disconcerting. The security guard remains surly and turns his attention to me. Let's be having you then. What? Excuse me? I, we just met. And you're, you're already wanting to have me? Zane Jones, slow your roll. This kitty booty ain't free, all right? He holds out his large hand, which I assume is an offer to help me off the boat. But as I reach to t out to take it, he snatches it away, throwing me off balance, almost fall over. What a great start. ID card. Oh, I see, of course. I reach in my back pocket and hand over the laminated card I was given in the mainland. Ah, here we go. Kitty booty. He barely looks at it before striding off, grunting over his shoulder. This way. It was so green and lush all of a sudden. It was so gray out there. I follow him down a dirt track path and get my first proper view of the island. It's beautiful, lush and green. I'm already under its spell. After no more than a couple of minutes trekking, we're in base camp, which consists of an assortment of tents and huts. Among them are two more solid looking structures, one larger and one smaller. I presume these are the labs. The whole camp is moderate, but functional. It reminds me of an army outpost. I'm struck by the lack of people, in fact, there's no one around apart from an older woman sitting outside, peeling a pile of potatoes. I smile and give her a little nod. She just stares back at me. So far, everyone is really rude here. I feel like I'm playing in a Dungeons and Dragons game when when the, the, the DM, he's making everyone really off-putting. I don't feel welcome. Everyone's a jerk so far. Even the girl peeling potatoes is like, mm -mm. everyone here sucks. This place sucks. And Miss Marigold, look at her, the dot, dot, dot. I try not to get paranoid, but this place sucks. That's right. Oh, is that? Oh my god. Wow. Great. Here. See, he, you don't even look like your- You look nothing like your profile picture, bruh. Is this, if this is Tinder, I would- I would just go home. I want this guy. I want this sexy beast. 
Not this dude. This guy's way sexier. He stopped at the largest of the tents, indicating that I should go inside. I felt rude just walking in, so I make my presence known first. Ahem. Hello? A firm but friendly voice calls out. Come. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh wow, this place is. <laughs> this place is. Your voice is suddenly going to change now that I see your face. <laughs> I walk in, and there he is, hunched over some documents. The great Professor Pauper. Sir, it's an honor to meet you. Let's give him super redneck voice. Yes, yes, you must be Kitty Booty. Come on in, my dear. Glad to have you on board. Good journey. Well, long. Yes, yes, indeed. We're your brother tucked away here. Uh, let me offer you some refreshment, water, coffee, something stronger, perhaps. Whiskey? It would be rude to let you drink your whiskey on your own. Get, let's get drunk, bruh. Well, if you're having one, it'd be rude to let you drink your whiskey on your own. Jolly good! I can tell you now I'm gonna get it wrong. <sighs> get along famously. He takes a swig from the bottle and passes it to me. I try not to show my self-consciousness and... And... Sir, really wipe the neck of my sleeve before taking a modest sip. He's like, ugh. <laughs> Take you while to find your way around, discover how it all works. So for today, I thought you could just uh, get you kitted out. Maybe introduce you to some of the locals, the cats, that is. I believe you already met most of the human locals. Oh, I've only met the ferryman, the security guard who brought me here. Yes, that's about it. And the lady outside? Oh, Miss Marigold. Her and her husband are the caretakers. Wonderful people, the Marigolds. I wish I could make a wh uh, whistle when I talk. I'd be like, shh. Wonderful people, the Marigolds. Shh. Cause he has that gap in his teeth. You'll meet them before too long. We're a tired little family here, Kitty Booty. I'm sure you'll fit in nicely. Thank you, sir. I hope so. Okay, so first things first, this is your basic kit. He begins going through a pile of things on his desk, explaining each of them in turn. This is your backpack. You can put everything in it. And we'll be going on plenty of field trips, so it will be very useful. As will your own water bottle, some disinfectant hand spray, uh, these are heavy duty reinforced gloves, which are essential when tagging cats out in the wild. Don't want any scratching felines. We don't know, no, no, do we? I suppose not. I shove each item into my new backpack as he gives them to me. Likewise, these goggles are to be brought along on all field trips. This lot here, he indicates to a small pile that looks like laundry. is basic uniform. Lab coats, masks, stethoscopes, etc. Portable first aid kit, camping knife with all the tool attachments. Finally, and without doubt, most importantly, this. Oh man, do I have a, is this my Pokédex? He holds up something that looks kind of like a mobile phone, except it clearly isn't one. This is your catalog. Catalog? Yes, the name comes from its earliest version. It was initially designed to record and store data on cats, scan them and log their details. It is a Pokédex, it's a cat dex. But as you see, we've come a long way since then. Now you can use it to communicate with the rest of our team. I've added everyone's contact details for you. Listen to music, take photos. There's even a pin that comes with it. Insert microchips in the back of the cat's neck so we can keep track of them. It's a very valuable piece of equipment, Kitty Booty, and I need you to protect it above all else. Do you understand? He's looking me directly in the eye and clearly expects a response. Uh, yes, sir, of course. I will look after it. Good! You'll get to know all the functions you get along, but for now, I suggest we take a stroll out and see if we can find a few friends to introduce you to so that you can try it out. He hands me the gadget. I feel a bit nervous taking charge of it, but he's also really keen to have- I'm also really have, keen to have a go. Reading's hard. Look at that cat dancing. Are these the cats that I'm going to be dealing with? Oh, there's a the cat. Back there in the back behind him. We head down the beach, the professor explaining things as we go. The mixture of terrain on Cat Island is quite unique. Even in such a relatively small area, you'll find forests, mountains, jungles, beaches, woodland, all of these different ge geological and ecological zones in one place. It really is most remarkable. So there's jungle and forest. There's two, two different types of, okay, sure. Magic certainly is. Even the lack of wildlife is in itself quite remarkable. Uh, what do you mean, professor? Well, put simply, there's a type of force field that surrounds the island, disallowing anything to enter. You mean literally anything? Was this lost? Absolutely. No birds, fish, or creatures of any kind can penetrate it. Forgive my lack of intelligence in the subject, but uh, we're here. 
The professor lets out a uh, discord or a loud laugh. Ha! I see what you mean! Well, there is, of course, one small break in the invisible wall. That, what? What? Come on, game! Where, where are we going with this? We got an invisible wall around the, the cat only inhabited island? Sure. But let's not get too bogged down in all this right now. What you need to know is that basically the island is shaped like a peanut. He picked up a nearby stick and draws a simple map in the sand. This is our end of the island. It's very well known to us now. We've been researching here for many years. The other end is not so familiar to us. We've encountered difficulties that have hindered our progression in the region. What? What just happened? What just happened? Is this game about to, to Doki Doki Literature Club me? Did you see that? They had like a Hitler mustache for a second too. This game's about to Doki Doki me. Talking about peanuts. This is about to get wild. I'm ready for spooks now. Is this a horror game? I'm not expecting a horror game. What type of difficulties, Professor? Well, we're not sure as we'd like to be, but what I can tell you is that the environment has an adverse effect upon humans, inducing nausea at the very least. You know the worst? Fainting, migraines, possible nerve damage. Gosh, that is serious. As I say, it's best to keep away, but let's not go into all of that now, my dear. Okay, this is getting really weird really fast. I mean, it was already weird because we're dating cats. You've had a long day. For now, let's just say that we refer to the far end of the island as the danger zone with good reason. Fly into the danger zone, dot, dot, dot. I must ask that you not put yourself at risk by venturing beyond this mountain range here. He refers to the map once more, drawing a line and an X. Don't go past that. Okay, they're wild, aggress they're wild aggressive cats out there. I wouldn't want you getting too close to them. Unlike our lovely fellows closer to home. But where are all the other scientists? If you're the only one here, why do you keep referring as multiple people? Am I on a cannibal island? Where, where are all the other researchers, you know, other than you? This is, this, is, this is weird. I got questions. He's led me to a spot where a few cats are lounging about. What do you say we try your catalog now, kitty booty? He stoops down and picks up one of the animals. A disgruntled looking cat who is sleeping under the shade of a palm tree. Oh, look at this guy. Sexy. This cat lets out a displeased mule, but doesn't struggle. Its large body, billowing with long orange fur, is just sort of hangs the professor's arms like a lazy in lazy resignation. Would you like to have a go at scanning this beautiful chat? I find the on switch and somewhat timidly activate it. The gadget immediately comes to artificial life, emitting a boop 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 sound with a red pulsating light. I select the app call labeled cat scan. <laughs> it loads instantly. There's no delay in this thing. The professor holds the cat towards me, the arms outstretched. I'm sure he said scanning the chip isn't planned the back of the neck somewhere. It's difficult to find his neck thick fur. Uh-huh. Whatever. I should do it! Sure enough, upon withdrawal, the cat has been scanned. <laughs> oh, floofy butt. Meow. Floofy butt. Oh, look at his picture. It's so much cuter than he actually is. Clever, isn't it? A large part of your job here will be to tag and scan the cats, such as Mr. Floofy Butt here. But it looks like you'll have no problems in, in that area. Excellent work, kitty, kitty booty. Thank you, sir. I can't wait to get started. Well, why don't you get a bit more practice with this catalog and scan the rest of them while we're out here? These five spend a lot of time together. They're like a little family, aren't you? Oh, yes, you are. Pastor seems to be a genuine cat lover like me. I think we're going to get, along, get on great. Okay, here goes. No help this time. The professor steps back. The first cat I approach is very friendly with the beautiful calico markings. It comes towards me already purring. Meow. Trixie. Look at the little hands. Meow, meow. Trixie, why don't you look like that up there? Yeah, another cat. Oh! Blah. Blah. Ah, what a terrible looking cat. Oh, gross. Snooty booty. <laughs> you, should, you should look like that, snooty booty. You look like a, <laughs> it looks like a dog more than a cat. A noisy one. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, McMurphy. And, uh, put until last. He's been skulking at the edge. I laugh at myself and I approach him. <laughs> Kibbles. Hiss. He's like, meh. And his face is like, oh, yeah. But he's like, hiss. You're giving me a lot of mixed signals here, Kibbles. All right. I don't know what you want. <laughs> his face there. Well done. I hope you enjoy meeting some of the locals. Fester lets out a little laugh. <laughs> I have a feeling you'll get to know them quite well in time. That's probably enough for your first day, don't you think? It's quite a lot to take in. I'm suddenly exhausted. Whew! I scanned some cats. Man, I'm tired. Oh, I better go. I better go lay down, you know, since the professor warned me 
that that there's some cancer causing thing on this island that that keeps anything from coming in and can make me tired and, and nauseous. But you know, it's probably just because I've been working so hard. It's quite late by the time I've unpacked and settled myself. Oh, this is my room. I just I just like threw my whole bag in here. Just threw everything everywhere. I want to write my journal entry before I sleep. I'm surprised at how chilly it is. I pulled my sleep bag right up to my chin, but I still feel goose pimples bloom over my arms. Shivering, I rub them to warm myself. Goose pimples, that sounds gross. There's goosebumps. Spooky stories of the 90s. It makes me smile to think this is an inherent reaction to the colds, keeping my new feline friends warm tonight. My eyelids closed, thinking of cats and the island and the professor. He's so dreamy. The world around me drifts away and I float up into a dream. Yeah, something's up. I don't know what that's about. They better stop it, game. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start talking to cats for too long. That's probably that's probably what's gonna happen. It's not like something weird and scary. It's just I'm going crazy and I'm gonna start talking to cats. I'm not sure how long I've been asleep, but I wake up with a violent jolt that leaves me sitting, sitting bolt upright. It's too dark to see anything, but I hear a rustling and then a strange electronic noise. One that in my sleepy confusion I can't place right away. Boop boop boop. Cat log. Acting on instinct, I scramble to my feet and follow the noise out of the tent. Around me, uh, my, my fears are confirmed when I catch sight of the pulsating red light getting fainter in the direction of the forest. I snap into action, run as fast as I can. Do one of the cats steal my cat log? Barefoot, dressed in my pajamas, running at full speed in the forest in the dark of night. What an idiot. I must be crazy. This is that plot, that plot crazy, you know, it's okay. The words of the Professor Pauper are ringing in my ears. Now's not the time for that. I need you to protect it above all else. My legs are trembling beneath me. I stop feeling my heartbeat heavy through my body. I wheeze in and out, my breathing billing in front of me in white puffs. Look at all these cat things out here. This is crazy. I shouldn't feel like this. Why am I so dizzy? Because I went past the mountain range, probably. I'm some scientist that can't remember basic instructions. I should get my bearings and realize I've blundered perilously uh, close to the danger zone. Oh, the cats are mad! They're gonna kill me! I can't just make out the shapes of large animals in front of me before my eyes close. I drop to my knees. Please, kitty cats, don't kill me. Please, kitties. Oh. Oh. Die, die, die. Open my eyes on the calico cat I scanned yesterday is sitting in front of me. She drops the cat log at my feet. Well, thanks. It said don't fight it. It said don't fight it for a second. Did you guys see that in the corner? It said don't fight it. I pass out. <laughs> Floofy butt's talking to me. <clears throat> Hello, can you hear me? Are you okay? What is it? Don't be ridiculous, Kibbles. It's a human. I already forgot your voice already. Uh, we'll give you redneck voice. Oh yeah, yuck, I can smell it now. It smells like a human. Oh, do be quiet. Are they alive? Of course it's alive. It's breathing, you imbecile. Why isn't it moving? Would you come on and give him some space? Move back a bit. Yes, stand back. Move out of my way. Let me have a proper look. I begin to come to. The Sphinx cat sitting over me as I open my eyes. We stare at each other for a moment while I try to take in what's happening. Is this one defective? Oh, I feel sick. I'm gonna puke. The cats watch me intently. Am I going insane? Ah, oh, my head! What is it chatting about? They're scared and confused. Let me talk to them. I'm human. Are you alright? You, I remember. You took my catalog. Oh, but I gave it back to you. It's back in your pocket now. I reach in my pocket and realize my hands are scratched to shreds. Ow, 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 ow. What's wrong with my hands? I try to stand. Ow, ow, my feet. What happened to me? Yeah, I, I guess that's from all the climbing. I told you I wasn't ready for that. Did you guys turn me into a cat? Did you guys turn me into a cat? What's that? Ready for what? Its anatomical structure is far too delicate. I tried to slow it down. Yeah, Floof, you tried restraining a human who's that determined? It was like a margay. Its anatomical structure didn't seem that delicate to me. I was like, what? Doing, doing what? You made your way back to the beach. Okay, but that doesn't explain. I show my bleeding hands. Ah, uh, you... Crawled, Kara. Ka who's who's Kara? That's not my name. It's a term of endearment. It's an Irish thing. Would you guys make some sense? It's inappropriate. Wait, I crawled? You sure did. Like a cat? Yup. 
All the way from the mountains? Like a bleeding mountain lion. Impressive. But why? Because you got the sickness. Shh. Oh, maybe you should sit down, human. We need to have a talk. Possibly a long talk. Talk? Yeah, that's right. Since when can cats talk? Oh, for goodness sake. Since the dawn of time. How else do you think we communicate? Oh, stop spitting whiskers, Major. You know full well that humans is saying, I think the revelation here, Kara, is that you can understand us. Yeah, that too. Will someone please explain what the heck's going on here? Well, we don't fully understand everything ourselves, at least not all the details of how this works. I think being stood in a forest surrounded by a bunch of talking cats is about as much detail as anyone would want. I agree. And more to the point, we were rather hoping you would be able to help us. You are a scientist after all. What we do know is that the clock has started ticking for you. What do you mean? Well, there's no easy way to say this to you, Kara. You'll be catified. I'll be what? Whether you like you want you help or not, you don't have a lot of time before. If I may, it would seem that we're basing this on our experience to date. That when a human manages to find themselves in what I believe you call the danger zone, they are vulnerable in ways that they previously were not. That is to say, you're screwed. You're not helping. Don't make me. <laughs> Whoa, mountain lion. There'll be no violence of any kind. Forgive me for being a bit panicked here, but you guys are really beating around the bush about tell me what the heck's going on. The vulnerability that Snooty Booty was referring is simply put, if you are bitten or scratched by an, an elder cat within the danger zone, you'll begin a process of change that ultimately will result in a full feline transition. Mm. Catified. So basically you're telling me that I'm a werecat? I look down amongst the scratches of my right hand and two distinct puncture marks the reality of my situation descends on me like a cold mist. Basically, yes. My head is spinning. This is too much for me to take in. Take a breath now, Kara. You're not looking so good. What have I started? Have I started to change? I feel my my head for ears, fur. Everything seems normal. No, I just meant you're looking a bit shaky. Understandably so. Take a few steps. Steady breaths to calm myself enough to say, uh, okay. So, uh, what? Give me give me some data. What do you got so far? Look, we're answering anything we can, but the truth is, we have more questions than answers ourselves. So, you said you need my help. What exactly would that entail? Well, finding our friends would be a start. The cats on this island, they've gone missing. We don't know what's happened to them, but the body count is rising. We've hit a wall. The body count? Oh my goodness, there's a mystery afoot here. A wall of ignorance, maybe, really. How many times do I have to tell you? The Mueller's are to blame. Mueller's? Now, Floofy Butts, there's no need for name calling. Speaking of name calling, I'll remind you to call me Major, Madame. Look, they can't help the way they are. It's lack of breeding, you know. Overbreeding, if you ask me. Again, Mueller's? They're the elder cats in the island, the, the island's originals. They can't speak the way we can, hence the derogatory term, Mueller's. How are they to blame exactly? Well, if I knew that, there'd have been no need for this elaborate kidnapping. It's hardly proving to be a roaring success after all. Look here, all we really know is that we're no longer safe on this island. The elders who live within the danger zone are hostile towards us. Not sure why, it's just always been that way. And now, because cats are being taken, nowhere else is safe either. You expect the occasional mishap. We live in an un undomesticated world here after all. But lately, cats have been disappearing almost every day. Even the last human we catified went missing. Oh, they already catified someone. You guys have been turning people into cats. You guys are the bad guys here. Let's not open old wounds, kibbles. Yes, onwards and upwards. Well, first things first, this were cat thing, catification, Transition. Whatever. How does it work? Time passes, then you transform into a cat. Yeah. It's a gradual process. It's different for everyone, but you won't just turn overnight. The clock is ticking, however. The first side effect is the trans the transition is being able to understand us. Well, some of us. Not the elders, obviously. Not all the domestics either. Then you have the whole heightened senses thing, the increased agility, the crazy body hair stuff. Let's not worry the human with all the details just yet. 
I assume there's an antidote. I'm afraid you're gonna be disappointed in that assumption. Hey, hang on. You said there was someone else who you put in this position? Well, let's hope you're a better bet than they were. Unfortunately, we weren't able to discover an antidote to get our friends back. I know where their notes are, though. Really? Trade? Huh? You help us, and I'll give you their progress reports. You guys are some evil cats! You guys have doomed me! To turn into a cat on a cat island where cats are disappearing. I'm supposed to date you guys? <laughs> are you serious? I want to murder all of you. Will you help us? Oh my god. I hate you guys. I do not want to help you. You know what? You know what? F these cats. Help you? After what you did to me? How could I ever trust you? You steal from me? Put me in moral danger? Lie to get what you want? What would you do in my situation? That's right. Ouch. God dang right, ouch, McMurphy. It's a ludicrous story about were cats. It's enough to make me think it must be going insane. So, no! If it's up to you to sort out whatever's going on here, I have enough in my hands looking after myself. Lame. What did I tell you? I knew this human lacked the intellect and stamina to be part of our research. How rude. You self opinionated moggy. I would sooner turn into a cat than help you. There's a shocked silence. Slowly, the small calico cat pads up to me. I'm sorry, human. If there was a way I could help you, I would. Trixie begins to sob quietly before turning away. My eyesight begins to blur, but I can just about I can just about make out the cats retreating into the thick growth of the forest. God dang right! God dang right! You get away from me, cats! She never came to this island. Mistake! Huge mistake. I knew something was up. Despite coming more and more tired and foggy, I somehow made my way back to the research area. And that's it, really. I did plenty of work over the next few weeks on Cat Island, but I can't hear much of it. Time seems to slip by without even noticing. I'm sure I did lots of good and interesting work here on the island, but I just can't recall any of it. Only vague memories. At the end of the day, I'm really not that bothered. It feels a bit like a distant dream to me now. I stretch out on the sand, enjoying the midday sun on my fur. Lazily licking my paws clean for the scraps left my morning feed. Meow, kitty booty! <laughs> You're so cute, kitty booty! I'm a cat! I'm a cat! <laughs> Is that the end? 0.7% <laughs> of total game scene. 0.7% scene. And my relationship status is single. <laughs> oh, my ending achievement, the anti-hero. I did it. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Great ending. Save that. Wait, is this guy dead? <gasps> that researcher's gone. I can't pick him again. He's dead. He's a cat now. Oh, <laughs> oh that's, that's, that's wild. That's wild. I hope you guys enjoyed this game. It was a little more deep than I thought it was going to be, actually. I thought it was going to be, you know, uh, some just really stupid game. But it's like, you don't want to help the cats? Fine. You're a cat. The end. Good job. I, I killed He's dead. What a dark game. All right, that's it for this video. So thank you guys very much for watching. If you want me to play more of this game, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. We may see more of it in the future. But until then, stay toasty, my friends. Bye.